Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Delightful Creations. I'm Amber. Today is Treasure Tag Thursday. That's right, it is that day again. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna play with this beautiful rose scrapbooking paper. And I've got a couple of stamps off to the side here I thought I could do in the background. And then I've got my eyelet puncher thing. Um, and a couple of bins um, pulled in for that. Stickers and labels, a piece of vellum, trims, and... Um, a gorgeous girl that I stamped onto some coffee dyed paper and I stamped her onto a bag and I also stamped her onto a project life card just to give myself some <laughs> options. I want to do a, I don't like to waste scrap of paper so it's really hard for me to make it bigger than six inches because six inches is like half of it. I do have two sheets of this in the paper pad. Um, it is dark watercolor florals, and I believe I got it from Joann's. Um, now, let me think for just a second here, because I want a big tag. So I'm thinking if I trim it here, I want to make a um, another fold-out tag. So I want it bigger than that because it's gonna go inside of a journal and it's gonna act as a page, big. Okay, so I think I think we should do, I'm almost feeling like, I'm gonna do seven and a half. I was gonna do eight, but just because a lot of times we do um, journals that are like eight and a half inch, that's a nice decent piece of scrap, right? Okay, so seven and a half inches. And I'm gonna grab my scoreboard because it's here. It's usually never here. I cannot do math. Don't ask me to divide this by three. Didn't plan that far ahead <laughs> for this video. Um, most tags are about three inches. Um, so if I did it at three, it would be like that. I want it a little fatter. I know that most of my journals are about five and a half. So I'm going to come over here for, I think I want it. I think I want a four inch one because I'm kind of tricking myself there. We can go four, eight and be done. Four and eight, and we have three equal pieces. Didn't do that on purpose, it just happened. Um, and I'm gonna score both sides of my paper because that gives me a better score line. This this cardstock isn't too awfully thick um, to fold, but sometimes it gets off kilter. And um, yeah, we just want it to keep it as nice as possible, right? So I'm gonna fold that this way. So this one is on my list. It is going to be my trifold tag. That is what I was planning on making today. A big trifold pit tag that I can use inside of a journal. And I would be, I'm going to cut it to a tag shape here. Um, big one. And it would be used as a, a tag page. I think that's going to be super cute. And I, I did not plan on doing another pink. I just literally was like, I'm going to play with a pretty... Um, scrapbook paper and I went to my scrapbooking shelf and I didn't see anything over there in the flower section so it's like okay I just pulled out the first paper pad that was over here to my little stash here and I flipped it open and saw this one so didn't plan on doing another pinkish tag hopefully next week well next week will be on the scale towards Valentine's Day so we've got our trifold tag now this one is a little bit close to the line here so I'm going to trim a little bit of this edge off so it's easier to open because in the journal it will be um, flipped out so I probably um, should not have cut the edge of that particular one so it's not going to be exactly a straight tag there but just enough that I can grab that because when I actually put it in the journal I can totally fold it backwards like this and you can have it open up and be pretty that way but I'm going to intend it to go this way all right, now we got our tag base. Yes, we do, yes, we do. It's a little bit off, but it's not bad. It's not anything that I can't fix. Um, let's do our inking. I just thought it would be fun to have maybe some of the swirl in there of the music notes, because this is like all over print, big print. It's all good. I'm gonna use my Cartel Postal one. I have another set of these. I should just pull them down. And start using them. I just grabbed this one because it's handy and I like it and there's nothing wrong with that right nothing wrong with that at all and I'm just going all over this page willy-nilly I just want it to be kind of in the background see how pretty that is maybe you can't even see it from 
that far away and my lighting is kind of terrible. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing on all of the panels. I'm trying not to get this all over my desk because um, my little baby white things are dried out. There we go. It would have been a lot easier to do it <laughs> all in one section, right? That's okay. That is okay. We don't mind. We don't mind a little extra work, right? Okay. I'm going to put some over here. There. Maybe we don't even need the... I want one right there. There we go. Maybe we don't even need the... Uh... I don't have words. The um, music stamp. I don't have my black ink down here, so... I want to stamp off from here, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this, and I'm going to do it on the opposite side, and just stamp, because I don't want to have to clean my stamp, and I don't have to worry about it. Look how much ink is left in there. After I did it enough times on there, I can probably get one more. My wrist hurts from using that scraper to make those words from my journal go on to the thing, so... Yeah, I've still got I've still got ink left on here, and this is wild. I, I to be fair, I don't really clean this stamp as much as I love it. I don't love it enough to clean it. I'm lazy. Okay. Now I'm gonna ink the edge, of course. Let's just do this here, and I'm gonna put it on the middle panel because maybe the middle panel actually. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on the middle panel, which would be the back side. Because if I don't like it, then I don't want it on the front, right? All right, here we go. I'm gonna put it right here down on this bottom corner sorry okay yeah look at that let's do this three times one on each panel all right that's what we're gonna do so that on the back and on the front I'm gonna put it right here in the middle I mean not the front the middle page is gonna go somewhere in the middle and I don't know where it's gonna go on the front so I'm not gonna stamp it on the front yet because that's gonna be my focal image and um, I'm gonna stamp off with this one as well. This is a brand new stamp. I got it from the, it's not brand new, but it's brand new to me. got it from the thrift shop. Okay. Uh, let's do our eyelet next, I think. I've got some fun trims. And do I want, this is going to be, this is going to be too fat. That isn't going to go in there. This might have to be the only one that I stick in there, which is pretty crazy. It doesn't go with this. And I don't have any twine. I want to go get some twine so bad. You won't even know. I'm going to do the rose the rose gold kind of a, a rusty. If I can grab it. Yeah. I, that's nice. And, you know, the eyelet color usually gets covered up anyway. So it's a flower shape. That's fun. So the 3 sixteenths is the big side. There we go. I'm not going to be too exact here. We're just going to go somewhere in the middle, as close as we can. You have all that writing space in there. I love that. I love that. And I love that I'm doing it for a journal page. So I don't have anything that has that in there either in any of my journals that I've ever made, I don't believe. I mean, if I've done it, I've only done it a handful of times. There we go. Okay. Done with that. Done with that. Got no room. <laughs> all right front. I'm going to ink later. I've got this really pretty white heart trim lace and I thought this would be gorgeous. I want to use some of this for sure. And then I've got these fun pink trims, um, fiber accents, I, uh, $4.99 from Hobby Lobby. I didn't pay that for them, but um, I thought it would be kind of fun to have the pink with this, the iridescent. So that's what I'm going to do because I don't have any, what do you call that? I don't have any uh, twine. I don't have any twine. I keep wanting to call it um, burlap. But I don't have any of that either. <laughs> I need to go shopping. I need to go shopping for the supplies. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get that in there. I don't have my little pokey tool. Let's see if I can do it with my pin here. Sometimes I get lucky. There we go. There we go. It liked me today. Yay! I hope you guys are enjoying this little series. I super enjoy looking forward to playing for Thursdays. It's been really fun. And, uh, yeah, I think that looks cute. That's very princessy feeling. <laughs> very princessy. Yes, 
That, that feels good. Okay. Um, let's see. The white lace. Okay, so then I pulled in my pretty stickers from upstairs. I got these floral pack. And they are gold foil. So that would be kind of a bummer for using with this rose gold, I think. But we'll see. I have this vellum here that I wanted to use, but I made my tag too short. It says was all grace was all in her steps uh let's see grace was all in her steps heaven was in her eyes john milton i had to read that right it won't fit on here and i don't want it to go the wrong way so we'll save that and i'll make a special tag that is big enough for this oh that's a bummer i was kind of hoping i'd get to use that all right not today today's not the day and then i have um these cute little labels that came from my friend elky and these beautiful really thick stickers that came from elky that she sent to me see here's some rose gold classy and fabulous that's the only one that is uh, don't be busy be productive right we all need to hear that sometimes be productive happy girls are the prettiest there's a cute little dragonfly that is rose gold i don't know how well she'll stick out that rose gold one. Okay. Um, and then my gorgeous girls, which I want to be my focal point. And I didn't know which one of these I was going to use. And I kind of like this one because it adds another layer. I mean, I'm going to use one of them, but this one adds more, uh, another color. So I have cream and brown with the polka dots, which you guys should know. I love polka dots. Um, and then I thought, well, I could use this bag. This is from my friend Candy. And I would cut this down. I wouldn't want it to go the full the full length here, because um, it's it's longer than my tag. They're huge bags, <clears throat> so I would probably cut it right about here. And I really like that. Then I gotta find something to go inside of here, which I wasn't planning on. Good, good for me, huh? And then I stamped her on the two opposite corners of coffee dyed paper, just to see if I liked that, which I think is cute, but I don't think it's enough. You know what I mean? Like it's not. It's not a wow factor, and I really like the Project Life card. I do like that. I do like that. Let's see. It feels... Because I would use it as a tuck is what I would do with this. Because there's too much openness up here. I would want to tuck something behind there to kind of cover up some more of that beautiful print, which I know sounds terrible, but it's it's in the background. We can see it later on over here, right? Um, with this one, you wouldn't have to do that. I would want to center it. I think I like this one better. Yep, let's do it. I'm going to trim it off down here because I don't need it. I gotta do it the other way. I'm not, I am not talented. I don't want it up that high. Okay, now can I cut this straight? That's gonna be the test here. The bottom of this is straight. We can make one straight cut for like four inches. Come on. Actually, I know this is four inches. Okay, so I got this cute little leftover bag piece. We'll save that. Um, I wonder if that could be considered junk throw that in my January junk journal. So let's close up our bag. Well, then I got this white lace. See, the white lace now isn't going to stand out, which is fine. That's no big deal. I'm just adding some art glitter glue down here to the bottom of this bag. And I did a terrible job of gluing. And I, I think, I think they're dry. I don't really want to touch I know that this one probably is, but on this on this bag. Okay, yep, it's dry. I, I stamped it just a couple minutes ago. I wasn't sure if it was dry or not. So there we go. And I think we still have enough room down here that I could totally add a label. Or I like the label. Or I can add a sticker. Maybe I add a sticker and a label. I mean they're both stickers, but I want to put this dragonfly, the rose gold dragonfly, and I'm going to put it, I think, up near the top of her head. I think that'll look adorable. Like this, like she's reaching up here. Oh, look. She's reaching up here on her little cute stack of books to reach the dragonfly. Okay. And put that away. And I can still use a label. So I'm using multiple treasures. The The trim really isn't a treasure. Um, it's just it's something I have in my stash. But I don't use them because they're those colors, I suppose. They're pretty wild. How am I going to open this? Um, let's see here. These are treasures. You can tell. They're brand new. Never been opened. Oh, there's 
two packs of these? Oh, I see. There's one. Oh, it's a big giant. Oh, I see. I just thought it was going to be like, um, like a post-it note, like you would just peel it off. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, which one of these do we like? So this is, I really like rounded corners. Hmm. I don't really care for the oval one. I'm going to use this rounded corner one. This is really thick here. It's really nice. Down here. Okay, that is not where I want you to go. I want you to go in the middle-ish. There we go. And I'm going to bend it the other way because it's been in my drawer for so long that it's bent upward where the, the sticky bit is pulled away from where the bag is going to sit. Okay, there we go. And then next, I want some of this. Okay, I'll put this away later. I got I to gotta get going. I want some of this heart trim. Even though you're not going to be able to see a lot of it, I still think it's going to add some. And that's the wrong way. It's got to go this way. And I could totally add the, um, because I'm not, I'm going to glue this completely to the back. I'm not going to make a back tuck spot because it's too thin. Um, so I think I'm going to glue it all the way down the page. Do you like that? You guys can't really see it, can you? Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So use my art glitter glue. Nope, I'm not. I'm going to use, I'm going to use a glue stick because I bet you're going to be able to see the wavy lines from the art glitter glue through the back side. Hmm. I'll just really super, super glue stick this because I don't want it to come off and I can't sew it in the middle of that because then I can't write on that unless I back it and that's just a whole nother step. Just a whole nother step. Okay. And I think I want to put music paper in here. I think that'll look really pretty behind this little gorgeous girl, which I don't even know what her name is. How rude of me, right? How rude. How rude am I? <laughs> okay. There we go. I don't want to smush it. I don't want to sh peruse, smooge it out from that side. I don't want the bag to rip. So I've learned this little trick here. Do it from the other side. There you go. Been using Mr. Charlie Brown a lot lately. There. There it is. There. Oh, yes. It's coming together quite nice. I almost want something down here in this corner. Now I will take my art glitter glue and, and uh, go ahead and go around the little edge pieces where it probably didn't get the glue stick because I didn't want to get it all over my desk and make a mess. Looks like I did a pretty good job. Okay. And let's see. I'm going to fabric tack that trim down. Yep. Fabric tack the trim down. I'm just going to go basically in a straight line across about where I think the hearts are going to sit. We're going to hope for the best. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just got to wing it. You can't, you can't just sit around and try to make it line up perfect. Okay. Well, you know, it would have been really neat here. Let me try to, let me try to angle it like a banner now that I've got it on there. There, isn't that cute? It kind of has a movement that's the opposite of the top of the bag. Okay, there we go. Boop, and cut. A little bit of that heart got messed up. It's okay. We're not, we're not, we're not judging it. There we go. Now, the last thing we need is something to go inside here. So I said music paper, right? Let's see what got. Oh, yay. Nope, those are my double-sided music papers. Oh, yeah, look at this creamy creamy goodness here um i don't think you're gonna see all of that but we're gonna try i i have a hard time using um music paper pages that are double-sided i will admit that i am terrible with that so i just want this piece here where it says isn't he wonderful so i can save he lives for something else <laughs> i'm gonna try to get it as close as I can to size. I'm going to trim off this extra edge there. I don't want that. And Okay, now I'm going to measure my pocket here. I need to know how fat my pocket is. This might not fit in there. I don't know why I'm using this ruler. Alrighty, it is about two and a quarter bag. So if I did it two and a half, it would definitely fit in there. And this writing is... Oh, under two. Okay, cool, cool. It's gonna work out. All right, um, cutter. Here it is. 
so now I'm gonna just do my best to, these are gonna be scraps, center this. So I wanna see, see now that's too far over. So two and a half, I'm gonna go three and a half, and then I'm gonna go down to three, three from this side, I think, and then um, half inch off of this side over here as well. There, it's, it's center-ish, right? Okay, I'm not gonna keep these tiny scraps. Yeah, I know, it's terrible. I've got too many, I've got too many, okay. Oh, look at that, I didn't even measure how deep. That is awesome. All right, now we're gonna use the tiny, tiny cutter here, and I'm gonna do all my inking and sewing off camera because this video is always long, I'm sorry. Hope you enjoyed the 20 minute tag videos. <laughs> oh, wow, yep. That's, that's just, that's my speed. That's my speed, I guess. Okay, there we go. And then I will back this with, um, oh yeah, oh yes, look at that. Um, I will back the, I glued my bag quite, quite a bit up here, so I need to trim off some of my top here. Back this with paper to write on, is what I'm trying to say, coffee dyed paper. Uh, and I don't think I'm going to hole punch it. Mm -mm. I don't think so, because it's going to get in the way of that. Look at that. So I did a trifold pocket tag. How fun! Okay, one last thing, because I'm going to do all the inking and everything off, off camera. And um, you'll see the full finish tag in the, the thumbnail. Um, and then I can show you next week. But I just totally forgot what I was going to say. Ah, oh, the, the stamp, the music stamp. Since there's music paper in the back, that just worked out, right? I did not do that on purpose. Oh, somebody's calling me. No thanks. Um, ignore. Ignore suspected spam. And I think I'm going to do it right over top of this bag. And I kind of want to do it here. But I want to cover up the only two circles. So I'm going to come up top. And I'm going to put it over here. And also, fun fact, the trouble cleft is on that side of the paper anyways. <laughs> <laughs> when you're reading it. So there we go. Oh, this has been so much fun. Oh my gosh, I love it. I've got a little boo-boo there. That's okay. That's okay. I'm not gonna fuss about it. All right. There we go. Should we just ink it now? Sure, let's just do it. Let's just see what the final thing's gonna look like. I'll just do this front side. And I'm gonna go heavy. I want it dark on this edge. I want it to be... I want you to look and frame your eye in to that lovely little girl there that we should look up what her name is <laughs> here in just a sec because I think I want to know what it is. Yes, we do. We want to know what her little gorgeous girl name is because you guys might want to, you know, buy her little mini stamp. There we go. Get some nice ink on that edge there. And I could have inked the bag and it would have made the bag stand out, but I like that it isn't um, as dark as dark right there. All right, um, let me find her here. She is this one. Oh, she's not gonna tell me your name. Mm. Oh, she's number two, it's called New Heights. New Heights, um, and I got these from Joann's. They were on sale when I bought these. I think I have seven or eight little gorgeous curl stamps, but um, yeah, so there you guys go. I hope you all liked this video and enjoyed watching this beauty come together. Thank you so much, everyone. We'll talk to you really soon. Bye for now.